Hey, you clicked on my video. Appreciate it. Now be sure to like the video and subscribe to the page. Long enough to cover the subject and short enough to keep it interesting. Welcome to Out Up My League. I'm Nick Diaz. You want to know why they play Christmas music in November? Because the most wonderful time of the year is the coaching carousel season in college football in November. And it all starts with a rumor. Now, I don't necessarily believe all of these rumors. It's just so much fun. I can't help it. And I'm really just happy to sit back and not have to worry about my team going through all this crap like we went through last season with LSU. I can enjoy watching other people suffer instead. Now, the rumors are going around that... Lane Kiffin is leaving Ole Miss for Auburn. A lot of smoke these past two weeks uh, before the end of the regular season. Now, first thing I'll say is this. Is it possible? Yes, it is. Now, maybe I'm just having recency bias with Lincoln Riley to USC and Brian Kelly to LSU hires last season. But too much smoke usually means it's just nothing but a smoke screen, at least nowadays, because the new Auburn AD who hired Mike Leach at uh, Mississippi State, that was a quiet, because the new Auburn athletic director who hired Mike Leach at Mississippi State, by the way, that hire was a very quiet and totally out of left field thing that no one really saw coming until the day of. Something tells me he'll do the same thing with Auburn. Not to mention, we all know who Lane Kiffin's agent is. Jimmy Sexton. This is a classic case of Jimmy Sexton throwing shit out to the media to get his client either A, a raise, or facility or NIL upgrades, in this case at Ole Miss, or B, using the Auburn job as smokescreen for another job that Kiffin really wants. What could it be? Well, before we get to that, I'll tell you... That's what sport agents really like to do, especially nowadays. And holy shit, Trace Armstrong did it last year for both Lincoln Riley and Brian Kelly. So, Jimmy Sexton, he wants to help his client out, right? He wants to help Kiffin out, either either to get a job or to get a better deal at Ole Miss. And here's the thing, that Jimmy Sexton, he doesn't always work at, you know, being loud and being boisterous and leaking stuff out to the media. When Jimmy wants something kept under wraps. He'll keep it under wraps. Remember, when he got Kiffin the job at Ole Miss, that was pretty quiet. There was no talks about that or rumors about that until the day of, until it actually happened. No one saw it coming. The reason why no one saw it coming is because it was real. They didn't want it to get out. When something gets out, that means somebody wants it to get out. So, this begs the question, is Kiffin trying to get another job? And is that job not named Auburn? Because look, I'm an LSU alum, okay? I hate Auburn more than I hate Ole Miss. I, I, well, actually, I'll say this. I don't really care about Ole Miss, never really have. But Kiffin wants out of Ole Miss. That, that much I can assure you. That much that actually not just me, but everyone in the media who covers Ole Miss, people in the SEC who cover a lot of the dealings uh, around Ole Miss, they will tell you Kiffin knows he cannot win a national championship at Ole Miss. He tried to get out of Ole Miss last year with multiple jobs. Nobody was interested because of his shenanigans and his background. Kiffin knows they, that he can't win because they don't have enough money at Ole Miss. They don't have enough booster support at Ole Miss. They don't have enough NIL support at Ole Miss, at least not to compete with other SEC programs that are winning national championships, which is something that Kiffin has been complaining about out in the open for over a year now at Ole Miss. He's been getting outbid by everyone in the SEC for recruits, namely NIL. And to any Ole Miss fan listening to this, I'll get to where I think Kiffin might be going in a second, but to the Ole Miss fans, I'm sorry, but Auburn is just a better job. Uh, it just is in every possible way. Well, we have a top five baseball stadium in all of America. We know how to pay for stuff. Cool. Baseball stadiums aren't that really that expensive compared to football stadiums. We currently are working on a $40 million renovation for the Manning Center. Awesome. Auburn just paid $91 million renovation for theirs. Well, the Boosters have started a new NIL club at Ole Miss. It's getting better. That's great. Auburn still has more NIL money than you. Auburn has more money than you. They always have, and they always probably will. You don't have more money or resources than Auburn. You don't have a better recruiting base than Auburn. I don't care what your record has been the last two years under Lane Kiffin. Kiffin is a better coach than the guy Auburn just fired. 
Kiffin has maxed out at Ole Miss. Deal with it. Well, when the 12-team playoff comes, that will make it easier for Ole Miss to get into the playoffs with just 10 wins. That's cool. Probably true. But guess what? You'll probably lose in the second round of the playoffs every single time to a team with superior talent that has that talent because they have more NIL money to pay for recruits. Something you don't. And that's something if Auburn, who hires the right coach, can actually afford those players in order to win a national title. To build a roster, an army of a roster, 1-85. through Ole Miss's only hope in this era is that they luck into an alum that strikes it rich as a billionaire with a startup company in the next 10 to 15 years. That's your best hope. That's why Kiffin is looking to get out. Now, he may not leave Ole Miss this year. He may leave Ole Miss in the you know future time. He may think Auburn's not the right job, not the right place, whatever. But here's the thing. I don't think when that time comes, it's going to be Auburn. I don't know what school it is exactly, but I have a conspiracy theory. It's probably bullshit, but it's so much fun to think about that... uh, Just stick with me here. Just stick with this. It's Nebraska. It's Nebraska. You know who is reported to have a top 10 NIL collective in all of college football? Nebraska. You know who has a top 10 athletic budget in the country? Nebraska. You know who has a top 5 spending... And facility upgrades? Nebraska. You know whose dad played, graduated, and coached at Nebraska? Lane Kiffin's dad, Monte Kiffin. You know who was born in Lincoln, Nebraska? Lane Kiffin. Lane Kiffin was born and grew up a Nebraska fan, especially since his dad's an alum, former player, former coach, and Nebraska was really good when Kiffin was growing up, so he probably grew up following them and rooting for them. Now, having said that, I don't think that last part matters. I think the whole, you know, he's an alum and he grew up rooting for this team or that team, eh, it's it's a nice story, but I don't really think it matters all that much. I think with Mario Cristobal leaving Oregon for Miami, that's different because Miami's a comparable job in a lot of ways. Plus, he was homesick and there's other things. Outside of that, it really doesn't matter as much as you think. I mean, look, Nick Saban's best recruiter on staff is an Auburn grad. So the real point I'm trying to make is money talks – and bullshit walks. And I don't think people realize just how much money Nebraska has. Top 10 NIL money, like I said. Look, maybe this is Lincoln Riley to LSU smoke all over again. The agent is just trying to distract you to look over here while his hand moves over here. Now, this is just conspiracy theory. I wouldn't bet my money on this happening. I'm not even sure I believe anything that I just said, but... It's coaching rumors, and it's coaching carousel. It's the biggest vice I have in sports. Crazier shit has happened, and I'm just having fun with it. Thanks for listening to Out of My League. If you like what you heard, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Or follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok in the description link below.